And I got uh, I got some interesting stuff for you here, and that is some plugins that you can put into your web browser. These don't work on the on the native mobile app, but some plugins you can you can put on your web browser that are super helpful. Uh, so a quick kind of tour of what I use. I use uh, Strava Sauce and one called Elevate. And together they give me some some t- some things they do. You know, they get overlap because they'll be doing the same thing. And uh, but but between the two, I get a lot of cool little features. So what we're looking at here is a, a ride. This is my last ride here Sunday. So a couple days ago, I've been chilling since then, haven't ridden. Plus, it's raining today, so I might jump on the trainer, which I hate. Um, so here, here's what this may look different. Obviously, it should look different than if you're on the Strava website without any plugins running. Uh, you'll see this is for a ride. You have this box here and this, and the comments are there, and there's some extra numbers here. So let's walk through what we what we get with these plugins. Um, it's worth noting that I'm not a huge, and if you follow the channel, I'm not a huge numbers nerd. I'm not, you know, I don't constantly stare at my power meter. You know, I don't do super structured workouts and, and, and I don't take racing too seriously. I've been doing this a long time, 30 years. And I'm just at that stage where I just like to ride. You know, I like to ride fast. And I love to be in good shape, but I'm not going to get all worked up about it. So I'm not totally geeky on the pow- on power and all that sort of things. In fact, I don't have power meters on all my bikes because I just don't care that much. But for, for today, we'll look at uh, some rides where I was riding a bike with a power meter. Uh, so right, right away, you'll notice we'll start left to right over here. You have critical power. This is probably my favorite thing to look at. And this comes from Strava Sauce. And it basically takes your best five second, 15 second, 30 second, one minute, as you, and on down the line up to an hour. You know, all the, basically all the critical, t- you know, power times. I wish it had three minutes because that's always been my, given the, the roads I ride and the type of rider I am, my three minute power is is something that I, I really care about. Um, and when I do race, and I haven't been racing much the last year or so, and I might not race sanctioned road this this year but all the races i like have about three minute climbs on them so i always i've always focused on that anyway so you get to here and, and so you can look at oh that my best five minute power was 289 watts best two you know where where was it so you click on it and you'll see you know it'll kind of show you a, a topography of of where your watts were but more importantly check this out analysis view so you'll see something familiar if you ever click on analysis right here it shows the whole ride with this profile and then all your averages. But now it's just highlighted that, what, what we do, three minutes here? But it's just, just highlighted that two minute section. And it shows you right where it is. Um, and then it breaks it down. You know, what was I doing for those two minutes and where was I? Really cool. And what was my best 20 minute section? I could probably the same stretch of road based on this ride. Uh, yep. Uh, so. You know that's that's where I was. That's how that's what was going on. So that might be, that's going to be useful for you. You know when you go back. Oh man, I was really hurting on that one place. You know on the road, yada yada. Um, it, that'll just confirm it for you. Um, and you can also use that to kind of gauge what kind of what kind of fitness you're on. So you're doing a you know, you're doing a specific workout. You're targeting two minutes. Did I hit the right watts? Did I did I get a new PR on watts for two minutes? That sort of thing. So real 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 great. At a glance, boom, got that. Uh, obviously, comments are here now. Instead of have instead of having to click this thing and get a pop up of the comments, they're all right there and ready to go, which is great. Um, you'll also see this is new. It brings in some some new data. I used to use Strava statistics or Strava statistics. It's a weird word. I can't say it. I won't link that one up in the in the description like these other two. But um, it, it throws this in. There's what Elevate is doing, and it throws in some other numbers. Um, and uh, inter- interestingly enough, it has weighted average power, or what you might call normalized power, um, just like, and that's the, the number it's kicking out with its data. Uh, inter- interestingly enough, St- uh, Strava is calculating 203 for weighted average power. They're doing it using different math, I would imagine. Um, and then uh, they're doing 200, I'm getting 220 watts normalized power from uh, Elevate. So, you know, take that for what you were. It looks like two out of the three are getting the same number. So maybe Strava is wrong on weighted average power, aka normalized power. Uh, you get a TSS score, which is probably not too dissimilar from training load per Strava. And of course, Strava has their this historic relative effort thing. I don't even know what that means. 
um, and then the normal numbers you, you're used to seeing on Strava. So that's the, the upper part above the fold. Um, and if you click on this, and I don't use this a whole lot because it really just breaks down a bunch of data, heart rate breakdown by some zones, speed zones. I don't know why that would matter. Uh, some power zones based on an eight zone. I don't use an eight zone, uh, but it's there. I think you can do some settings here with these gears and, and, and yeah, you can, you can set what your FTPs are. This is speed zones. If that's something you ever want to do, um, get me out of here. Let's go back here. Okay. So let's get rid of that. And then lower below the fold is, is something I also like. So a given segment, um, it'll show your, uh, it looks like it'll show you relative. We stopped for a flat tire. So we're 20 minutes behind the, the KOM on this one, but it shows relative your, your Delta to the KOM for a given section. So I, I'll go to one that makes a little more sense here. Two minutes, three seconds to the red behind that that KOM and 152 behind my PR and 117 for my PR just for this calendar year. So that's needed a glance. You can see that in Strava in that little polka dotted grid when you go to a, go to a given section. Um, so there you go, it, it adds that feature. Um, so that's what, a, that's what a ride looks like. Um, what I do like though, is in the feed. I have a couple settings ticked on, um, and there's, al there's always been a lot of different plugins that do this, but lately this is what I've been using. But for one, you're seeing, uh, I have it, a box checked in Strava Sauce to show the rides chronologically. I did not like how Strava went to, you know, similar to like a Facebook or an Instagram where they're trying to show you the stuff you're gonna care about the most. And I can easily go back to that and, and, and hit the hit the box so that I can see people that I, I guess people I ride with or, or people's stuff I like more. I don't follow oodles and tons of people. So I like the chronological um, so I can see that. But what it also does is blocks you don't see any of the challenges on there. So you don't see that, you know, so-and-so signed up for the challenge and and uh, I don't ever want to see those. I don't care. Um, the, Stra the Strava challenges I'm not interested in. And it also is blocking most, it hasn't figured out how to do it on, tr on uh, Trainer Road, but it blocks virtual rides. So if you upload a Zwift ride, you notice through my feed, I don't see the Zwift rides. It's not that I don't care. It's just that I don't care. Like. I want to see where you're riding. I want to see, you know, what route you took. That's what interests me. I don't care how hard you worked. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, I don't know what this is. This is like a spin class maybe that was uploaded manually or something. But yeah, the Zwift stuff doesn't show up, but Trainer Road does. So that's not going away. And I only see a couple of those every once in a while, but but it's nice that, that I can hide those. So pretty cool plug in. Uh, I, I, uh, I recommend checking it out. Uh, it'd be cool if it could work on the mobile app, um, although the mobile app just doesn't get quite as n um, noisy. And so even when I look at somebody else's ride here, I get some of these data. So I'm getting some critical power from this guy here and I can see all that same stuff. So pretty cool plugins. Um, I like them. Uh, and, and you know, if you if you have any you like, comment them in there. Then let me know what what plugins I should be checking out. But those are the two I'm digging right now: Strava Sauce and Elevate. I'll link them up in the description.